believe it or not, I'm actually what you might call a philosopher. I know, kind of odd to think about me, the loudmouthed vulgar moron, is actually very into something as rather vague and abstract as philosophy. But I actually have quite a few books on hand, one of which I will get out now so I can read you one of my favorite passages from it. <clears throat> In front of me stands a table that I can see, feel, and hear if I wrap my knuckles on it. I have no doubt that it, the table, exists. But now I will start the philosophical questions. What is this thing? What is the nature of its existence? Is the table something I know through experience, or do my senses reveal to me something else? After all, when I look at it, I see its color, the brownness of the wood, and when I feel it, I feel its hardness, brownness, hardness, four-leggedness, and so on, are the qualities or properties of the table. One might then be tempted to say that I do not know the table itself, but only its properties. Now I know what some of you may be saying at this point. What the hell did you just say? Well, essentially what that means is, the object, the table in that example, you know that it's hard, right? Because you can feel it, you can feel its hardness. You can note the color of it. If it's a wooden table, it's colored like wood. Uh, it's got four legs, at least most tables do. So in that sense, you know those properties of the table, but in that case, do you know of the table or only of said properties? The normal person will say you know of the table. I mean, that's the obvious answer, isn't it? But there are some deeper questions there. For example, if objects truly exist, then how come, according to modern physics and science, you can't actually physically make contact with them? Only the outer electrons of your fingers can actually make contact with the outer electrons of the object, such as the table. You see, this is a metaphysical concept, one of the basic metaphysical concepts, and metaphysics quite literally means after the physics. And while it may sound like absolute nonsense right now, believe me, this is a genuinely real field of study. And an involved one at that, after all, what does science work on if not the assumption that what we view around us is in fact there, real, something that we actually touch and can feel. Now science will also tell you that the reason we can touch is, as I mentioned before, those outer electrons allow us to feel the sensation of making contact with something. For example, if I'm touching my laptop or clicking my mouse, uh, that means I must be touching it, I must be making some contact with it. Or, perhaps, a mouse is simply a group of properties. For example, clickiness, uh, usableness, those kinds of things, they are properties. And are, do the objects maintain those properties? Do those properties exist because the mouse existed first? It's similar to the chicken or the egg question. What came first, the properties or the object? And there are real PhD holding scholars that will say the properties came first, and therefore objects are nothing more than collections of said properties. In other words, objects as we know them, as normal human beings interact with, don't actually exist. What you really are interacting with is a collection of properties. Now, do I buy into this? Well, in all honesty, no. I think the object comes first, and there are plenty of metaphysicians that will say the same thing. It is an interesting question to consider, and as a result, I feel I will be considering digging deeper and deeper into this style of thinking. And prior to my introduction to real solid metaphysics, I was pretty much thinking about things in a logical and epistemological sense. And epistemology is a whole nother beast. We will get to that some other time. I simply wanted to introduce this concept of thinking, and I feel metaphysics is the best introduction to people who are not immediately initiated with this kind of philosophical vocabulary. To me, metaphysics is the easiest major philosophical concept, other than perhaps, you know, ethics and logic, which everybody's seen before, to really grasp. Between epistemology and metaphysics, metaphysics is the easiest to kind of grab with your, with your mind muscles. And I want to do more videos where I get to talk about these kinds of things because I really do enjoy thinking about them and talking about them. So I'm going to try to do these kinds of thought-provoking videos more often. Of course, if nobody likes them, what's my motivation going to be? So uh, if you like them, 
let me know. If you don't, yeah, let me know that as well. I'll probably just stop. That's all for now. Comment below if you want to see more of this, or if you have any questions, or if you just think I'm an idiot who shouldn't be rambling on about this nonsense. See you next time.